Hi everybody, it's Mina. Welcome back to my channel, or if this is the very first video that you're seeing of me, then welcome to my channel. Please be sure to hit that subscribe button down below if you didn't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes. And today in this video, I thought I would go over the top five beverages that are not good to bring on a public bus or any public transportation. So I'm sure if you guys have ever been on public transportation like bus, BART, or whatever you take to travel, you know there are signs up that says no food or beverage on the bus, on those things. So these, so it is okay to have water on public transportation, but you can't have any other beverage besides water. So these are beverages that you should never drink when you're getting on public transportation or before you're going on public transportation because it's not really a good thing to be drinking this stuff or right before you get on. So I'm gonna get started and I hope you guys learn a valuable lesson about what beverages are good, are good to bring on the bus and what beverages are not good to bring on the bus. So here we go. <laughs> So number one on my list would have to be soda. This is probably the worst beverage you could ever bring on the bus just because soda is super sticky. And plus, if you open a can of soda before getting on the bus or a BART, you have no way to keep it fresh. So it's probably the worst thing to bring just because if you spill it, it's going to get everywhere. And plus, it is very, very sticky and you can get it on other passengers as well. And if you make a mess and spill, then you're going to have to clean it up. And it's not really a good thing because that can attract ants because soda is sugar. And if you get it on yourself, well, the bus driver has to pay to have their bus clean. And it might be a little pricey for the bus driver to pay to have their, have their bus clean. And I do have two stories of about somebody with soda on the bus like one where somebody was drinking a soda on the bus which I'll link down below if you didn't see and also a story about how one of my friends accidentally opened a can of soda before getting on the bus which I'll also link down below if you didn't see so just to be mindful if you're gonna drink soda make sure you have a bottle that opens and closes and actually don't open it before getting on the bus or when you're on the bus just because you don't want it to splatter or spill everywhere. Number two on my list would have to be coffee. This is also hot coffee or iced coffee. So you don't want to bring any hot or iced coffee on the bus just because if you spill your hot coffee, it could probably get on somebody and maybe burn them depending on how hot it is. Or if you accidentally forget to close the lid of your coffee all the way, it could probably spill everywhere and get all over your stuff, other people's stuff. And it's not good because some people might have expensive stuff that can't be washed or cleaned and you just never want to open any like iced or hot coffee on the bus because bus or any public transportation just because hot coffee you can have no way to open and close it and then iced coffee it will stain other people's stuff or your own stuff. Number three on my list would have to be juice. So you never want to open juice before or um, before getting on the bus or when you're on a public bus just because juice is very easy to spill. Juice is made of sugar and it can be quite sticky and it can stain your clothes. It can stain the bus driver's seats and plus it makes more of a mess for the bus driver or BART driver if you're taking BART. Number four on my list would have to be hot chocolate. So hot chocolate is probably not a good idea to take on the bus or any public transportation just because hot chocolate is very hot. Obviously, it's called hot chocolate, Mina. And 
it can stain it can be very sticky just because it's chocolate and chocolate's made of sugar and if you spill it on someone it's probably gonna hurt or if you spill it on yourself it's probably gonna hurt so you don't want to bring it on the bus with you especially if it's a very very hot beverage Number five on my list would have to be iced tea. So iced tea is probably the worst beverage to bring when you're on public transportation, just because that is also has sugar in it. It can be quite sticky. And if you, it may stain the bus driver's seats, the bar driver's seats, or if you spill it, you can get it all over yourself. And also if you have it open, it and you spill it then you're going to make a giant mess and more of a mess for the bus driver to clean so you should never bring iced tea on the bus just because it's just going to be a mess and you will have to clean up or you're going to make more cleaning for the bus driver so yeah that's not really a good beverage to bring so those are my top five worst beverages to bring on the bus or any public transportation i hope you guys enjoyed the video and i hope you learn how important it is to keep your beverages closed before getting on the bus but if you have water for getting on the bus it's totally fine to open it because water won't stain anything if you have any other beverage besides water you probably should wait to open it until you get off the bus or maybe just wait till you eat your lunch. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. I post every day except for Tuesday and Friday afternoon sometimes. And I'll see you in another video soon. Bye!